I've been trying to think of some ways I can reduce my production time. When you do a live stream, there is probably less focus on the overall production, but there is focus on, you know, the interaction and the conversation and things like that. Yet when you do a pre-recorded video, it has to be of a higher quality. And I thought maybe if I tried recording videos as a one shot um, and had a, a small PowerPoint with a couple of images in that I could overlay over the top, it would be a way to reduce the production time. I wouldn't need to constantly go through and edit it. However, <laughs> a person with ADHD trying to record an entire video without <laughs> any breaks or anything like that, it doesn't work. It ended up taking me longer to record the video from having to keep constantly stop and re-record. Either I was losing, you know, my attention, I was just having a complete brain fart, something distracted me, heard a noise outside. When I record a video, I tend to write myself little notes and paragraphs that I can keep referencing to keep myself on point. And sometimes trying to read those at the same time as recording throws me off or I lose my place or it jumps around the screen. And again, I've got that same issue of the, the distraction and everything going on. So <laughs> when you do a pre-record, it's fine. You can sort of look down and go, ah, oh, yeah, that is what I'm discussing next. Okay. And then you say your piece and then you can sort of like pause it or whatever, or just leave it running, but you cut it out afterwards. But because I figured, you know, let's do it this way. Let's put a background like this in and just have everything running. And then I can just chat away and it'll be fine and it'll be good enough. I won't have to do anything because, you know, I, I've rehearsed this. I used to do plays. I know what I'm doing, but no. So I decided to just put a little clip show together of what happened. <laughs> Today, I'd like to talk about ADHD and doing stuff and it hasn't worked. Again, I'd like to talk about ADHD and doing stuff. What are you doing? Why are you not actually working when I press record? Lower levels of dopamine, norepinephrine in their brains. Ugh. So one of the things with ADHD is people that have it often have lower levels of uh, the neurotransmitters. Um, of attention, mood, memory, and motivation. And these can cause additional issues as well. I'm not doing a thingy. Every day. Neuroepinephrine increases arousal and alertness, promotes vigilance, um, focuses our attention, uh, um, me uh, <laughs> assists with memory creation. Um, right, <laughs> start again. Today, I'd like to talk about ADHD and doing stuff. I've pressed the wrong fucking button. Hello, today I'd like to talk about ADHD and doing stuff. Now, folks with ADHD tend to have lower levels of dopamine and oh, fucking I get it right for once and I get a call. And dopamine plays a role as the reward center. Uh, and many uh, folks with ADHD tend to have lower levels of the neurotransmitter neuro all of a sudden we get that reward that we are so searching for. Really thrown me off. I was doing really well. And this can cause additional issues as well. So the main modes, uh, getting there, we're getting there. One take stuff is hard. Um, it's, oh man, struggling with, and dopamine plays a role uh, in the reward center and mentally bodily, many bodily function. Oh man, let's just start again. 
Norepinephrine increases arousal and alertness. It promotes vigilance, enhances formation of uh, and norepinephrine. And these are things that tend to... Oh, man, that was terrible. And welcome. Today, I'd like to talk about ADHD and... Uh, fuck's sake, I got it right that time. It disappeared. Now, that's not saying... Um, uh, oh, yeah. Fuck's sake. And visual cues are required for me to remember to do, well, anything really. Um, for example, you know, you could be in a situation where, oh, that didn't work. Fuck's sake, why did that happen? That was obviously, uh, I can't fuck's sake. That was obviously just a small sample of things that happened. Um, a lot of it was sort of me losing my place, losing my train of thought, but some of it was obviously, um, me. <laughs> Maybe I should leave that one in too. <laughs> but getting distracted by something or, um, the, the, being slightly stressed because of the constant mistakes and then that sort of stress getting in the way of remembering what I'm trying to say or doing it properly and being more prone to other distractions. Um, there are a few where it was obviously a technical issue. I was pressing a button. It wasn't moving or it did something weird that it wasn't supposed to do. Um, and, and there was, you know, there was a few in there as well, but most of it was just me just getting distracted or being unable to, to maintain my my thought process which obviously means that i probably can't do uh these one take videos for anything that's more than a minute or two because i generally i can keep a train of thought going but not for a long period of time and not when it's i'm trying to use memory recall at the same time when it you know it, if it's something that gets a little bit more technical and needs a bit more exp explanation then I need a bit more time and space and therefore I, I, you know, need to do these videos, uh, not as one shots, which is a shame because I was hoping to get them out quicker. Um, but for all the shorter videos, I'm sure I can just about manage to keep my brain in check. 